I know you've focused particularly on the well being of the Asian and Asian American population. Right. So I'm curious to know what your findings have been and yeah. if there are any cultural differences on this level too, in the same way we compared yeah. masculinity among different culture, are there different important sure. factors for mental health across cultures? Yeah, yeah, I can definitely um, talk to that. Um, I mean, I can just summarize some of the most important findings that I found. Um, or, or maybe the most, some of the more interesting, because not all the findings are that interesting, but some are. Um, a few things. Uh, the first, which I think is kind of important to note, is that overall, the uh, I'm just going to focus on suicide, the uh, suicide rate for Asian Americans in, in the U.S. is actually lower than that of the general population, and mm-hmm. lower than that of white Americans. It's a, and it's a very fascinating uh, finding because you find um, very high suicide rates in Asian countries um, uh, and uh, higher um, than what you will find in the sometimes in the Asian American population. Uh, so, so that's one thing. So I, I kind of always don't want to over sensationalize. Um, and to, okay, why um, suicide rates are really lower among Asian Americans? I, I can talk about that if you're if you're interested. It's, it's all in the realm of speculation, but I have some hypotheses. Um, but that's one finding. A couple of other things that might be uh, interesting to note, um, and this has been talked about quite a bit in the literature, that um, uh, shame, culturally shame is um, uh, a, a rather salient feature for why uh, a lot of uh, people of Asian descent consider suicide. And that's something I've done that found that um, this notion of shame, having a lot of shame is associated with um, uh, intentions to kill yourself, kind of suicide ideation. And, and here, the, the, the cultural components to shame to uh, where in Asian cultures, shame, um, two types of shame, I would say, well, sorry, even three types of shame are slightly more culturally salient. One is the shame of someone judging you. So not just that you failed to do something on your own, but that the knowledge that others think that you screwed up is is really bad. The second is that you've done something that brought shame to your family. So not not just that you screwed up, but you've tainted your family's reputation. And the third is, is, is even more, uh, I would say, probably the least, probably the, the, the least relevant in Western cultures, is more culturally unique, is the shame of someone close to you, but usually a family member screwing up. So you didn't do anything bad yourself, but mm-hmm. one of your family members, perhaps a child, um, did something really bad. And mm-hmm. it brings you, it, it, you, you vicariously experience a lot of shame. Right, um, but uh, anyway, these types of shames, these types of experience of shame, um, uh, are uh, potentially uh, predictors of suicide ideation in Asian mm-hmm. cultures. A um, couple other things I'll mention. One is that um, even though the suicide rate is lower generally for Asian Americans, um, so is the help seeking rate uh, when Asian Americans experience um, suicide ideation that's been found in the general population as well as in the college students. So you have an Asian American who's experiencing suicide um, ideation, you know, thinking about killing yourself, there is a lower likelihood of seeking help as compared to say, a, a white American who is similarly experiencing that kind of ideation. It seems counterintuitive to me that that that's true, that their help seeking behavior is lower, yet their suicide rate is also lower. Yeah. 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 Um, and by here, I want to make it clear, I'm referring to psychological help seeking. Um, so, you know, perhaps seeing a mental health professional uh, that's always been often been stigmatized in, in many Asian cultures. So, uh, mm. I'll just mention two more things and then I've done. So uh, one study that I did looking at um, Asian American college students who, and everyone in that study 
was seriously thinking of killing themselves or had been thinking of killing themselves over the past one year. Um, and uh, the number one reason, one, one, one factor that was um, going on in their life because of family stressors, uh, well, instead of stressors were, were family problems. So, and that's less, that's not the, the top factor among uh, college students in general, but those who are thinking of killing themselves. So family issues, um, uh, and number two, I don't really remember correctly, was academics. So family and academics were, were big issues that were associated with Asian American college students seriously thinking of killing themselves. And that's a little bit different uh, for other white students. Interesting. Um, the last fact that I'll mention is, um, this is not published yet, uh, research that I that I uh, completed very rather recently where I you know I, I did a deep dive into um, suicide notes written by Asian Americans um, with Asian American Pacific Islanders who killed themselves. So this everyone in that sample was had died by suicide. And but we had uh, police reports summarizing their Suicide letters of those who wrote um, suicide letters, notes, letters or notes. Not everybody, else, not everyone wrote notes, but among those who wrote notes, I analyzed their, their notes and the content of what they were saying. Um, it, it's it's fascinating and at, at the same time extremely morbid, of course. Uh, some come, some conclusions I learned from that um, study was there is no single pattern in terms of. Um, reasons people give for for suicide uh, or descriptions of what to do, just a variety of different reasons. Some people have been thinking about suicide for a long time, and for some, it was very impulsive. But the one thing that was interesting was that in uh, the most common theme across all the different suicide notes was a very high proportion of the um, Asian American Pacific Islanders in their notes uh, apologized or asked for forgiveness, typically from their loved ones, like family members, for their suicide. It was very, very poignant. Uh, and and um, I think this is both interesting as well as provides some room for interventions uh, because. You, one could argue that you know it's it's culturally salient and that there's a recognition that you've done some harm to your family, you know, by leaving, and that what you did was is going to cause a lot of harm. Uh, but it could also leave the room, uh, provide the opportunities to provide suicide prevention um, in, in the form of being able to help people. Of Asian Americans uh, who are feeling suicidal recognize how much their family members are going to be hurt and miss them and want them to be around and can't bear to see them leave. And that could potentially be a protective factor. So even that was showing up in the, those, those ambivalence and regrets, even in those letters, even as they kill themselves.